Hey, you guys, happy new year. I uh, just first want to say, uh, just have a lot of gratitude for all of you for, for participating and, and being a part of Art to Life and showing up and uh, just it means a, a lot to me and I certainly wouldn't be doing this if it, if it wasn't for you. So thank you for that. Uh, it's, it's been a good break and I'm still kind of in it and I've been looking through my journal and uh, going over um, all the pages in it and everything I've done and and I was noticing in the art that I make in my journal, uh, there's all these little marks that I make. It's very apparent in my book. I just kind of do the similar kind of marks. And there are these symbols, uh, metaphorical symbols, things that mean something to me that don't necessarily, uh, that you wouldn't know when you see them, but they're all in my work. And there's quite a few of them actually. So I thought it was interesting. And I thought today I'd show you, uh, show you those um, because I think it, uh, invites, um, it's, it's a way of communicating uh, that maybe isn't literal, but uh, can add a lot of uh, sort of depth and uh, in, invites inquiry into your work. So here, so check this out. Okay, so the first symbol I use a lot is this. And it's like, it's not that these things are unique, it's just that what we, how we personally think of them and when we use them is unique. So this is just an infinity symbol. And for me, this is about possibility and potential. It's positivity, it's endlessness. And, and it sort of has a faith component to it that if I continue around in this, that it's actually, I'm, I'm like, I'm spiraling upwards in it. So it's a very positive thing. I, I use it, I do giant marks of this, I do small marks of this, I do shapes of this. So I'm using it a lot. The other symbol that you'll see in my work, and it's really been simplified over the years, is this. This is, comes from a, uh, flower, actually. It comes from a poppy. And I did a painting many years ago with a poppy with these flowers in it. So I was, I was really pictured, I did, did a lot of art using uh, nature, uh, botanical stuff. And this is this upwards triangle. And uh, it's about nature and uh, rising up and um, it too is a, it's like a rebirthing is, is how I kind of think about it. Originally, you'll see in the painting, it was like more like this, you know, and these were wider. Sometimes I'll do them wider. This looks more realistic and there was a stem here. And sometimes I'll even do this in the work. You'll see these show up again, but this is really old. I've been doing this, oh um, my God, for 20 years based on this, um, Romero, Romero poppy that I absolutely love, um, the color of it and the whole thing. Okay, so that's, that's the other one. And then another one I do is this. And this is, it's like a door. It's an opening, it's a portal. And that is, um, also about new beginnings, new places to go. So the way the, the, the paintings might be made, actually this is usually in the beginning, in the middle. Um, it's like a tunnel, it's like a, an opening. So this is uh, something you'll see in my work a lot. Um, and then the other one I do, I do this a lot. Um, this is also a nature-based thing. Uh, this is a boat um, on a, you know, like a river boat. It's also a leaf, um, but it has a lot to do with nature and um, water, like a water droplet. And then the other ones I do is, it's language, but it's not readable. 
So sometimes I'll use the correct letters, but you'll notice often I'll mix in other symbols that don't have, that are not, um, that are not, that don't, people can't read or they're not correct. So I'll flip letters and it's basically slowing down the read so more, so there's the feeling of something being trying to communicate, but it's not literal. I love the idea that there's meaning that's implied here, but it invites the viewer in to, to wonder what is being said. Um, so those are, those are just five of the most common ones that I use, and they show up all the time in my work. Um, and then also, um, I tend to do this a lot. There are lines that move through the picture and this is about journey and about travel and trail and path. So, I mean, I was just noticing that I, I just do that a lot in different areas of the, of the work. So anyway, that's some of the uh, symbols that, that I use. And uh, I just think it's, it's pretty interesting when you pull back and <laughs> look at it. It's it's become like a language for me uh, that I'm not aware that I'm probably the only one who understands uh, entirely its meaning. Let me know in the comments, like what, what symbols do you use? What, what, what's implied in your work that maybe only you know for, for sure? Uh, this week on the podcast, uh, this New Year's week, we have, I have a really cool conversation with Lauren Manticun. She's a Santa Fe based artist and her work actually is all about metaphor and symbols and it's really, really beautiful. And we have this lovely meandering conversation that comes out on Wednesday. So I hope you can click on the link below to subscribe. You guys, I hope you have a great day today and, uh, and you get some time to make some art as well. Thanks so much for being here. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.